Good morning and welcome back to Bernama Today. A while ago we uh, took a look at the Samsung Note, which is a fantastic uh, looking uh, piece of equipment. Uh, well, moving away from that, in the studios with me right now is Kelvin Tan and we're going to be talking about facials. A lot of people are into skincare these days, but how important is a facial? You know, when you talk to a man, man about going for a facial, he'll be like, nah, you know, that's very effeminate. I don't do things like that. But, uh, you know, living in a setting like ours in a tropical country, uh, facials are very important. And to talk about this, we have Kelvin Tan in the studios. Kelvin, a very good morning to you. Good and, morning. And uh, thank you very much for taking time off to be yeah, with it's us. It's my pleasure. Well, uh, no, to talk about facial, where do we get started? You know, do we talk about the benefits of a facial? What are the benefits for men and women alike? I think uh, when you go for a facial, you're going to expect a few things, which is deep pore cleansing, which mm -hmm. is really important because in our landscape, we get exposed to all the environmental grasses mm -hmm. and free radicals and whatnot. So right. you get a, a very good um, rub down. Mm -hmm. You really get cleansed. You get micro exfoliation with it. So what it does is that it helps uh, you um, have a clearer skin. The sk mm -hmm. skin breathes better. Right. And then we infuse them with nutrients, which goes directly to the mm -hmm. skin. So you don't really have to wait mm -hmm. for supplements that's right. going to go to your organs first. Mm -hmm. You know, so mm -hmm. you're going to apply it directly. Right, but they also say you know beauty starts from the inside. It's a it's a term that's been uh, toyed around in the uh, beauty industry. You know, people are prescribing supplements, a healthy eating lifestyle to complement a good facial, so on and so forth. Do you also delve into that? Well, we advise our clients that uh, that you know being healthy is all about uh, everything's interconnected. Mm -hmm. uh, a healthy lifestyle, you know, um, a stress-free, um, having some time off for yourself, and right. then so having a good diet, having taking supplements, mm -hmm. is it also helps in getting uh, good skin. So good skin, yeah, goes along. Well, you know, when you talk about facials, there are just so many different kinds of facials in the marketplace. You know, you go out there, everyone's got something to offer. Yes. Now, what should one look for in I a facial? I think you must know what your intention is first. There mm -hmm. are people that just go for the relaxation of it. Right. So go for an aromatherapy facial where essential oils are being prescribed in, mm -hmm. in the treatments. You must go to a reputable... Hang on, hang on. You know, uh, some time ago, I went for a facial and yes. it was... Uh, as bad as enduring sulfur, you know. Uh, oh, seriously, gosh. you know, they were they were prodding something into my face to take off apparently blackheads, yes. and I don't know how that's noticeable on a face like mine. But you know, yeah, things like yeah, this beautiful skin. Yeah, yeah. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, thanks to the makeup artist. But you know, having said that, you know, h how do you do you make a facial pleasant? Is that is that possible? It is definitely possible. Mm. You mm. have to. I think the f main thing is to have a consultation first mm. with your therapist and understand better what are the options available for you and maybe communicating with the therapist uh, is, is a great way to start because mm. I'm a practicing aesthetician mm -hmm. so I speak to my clients and understand them better and I right. let them know what, what comes with the facial. Mm -hmm. So there are a lot in the market, there are bioorganic facials nowadays where they only use 100% um, mm -hmm. uh, natural source mm -hmm. uh, ingredients right. uh, from plants, essential oils, from mm -hmm. flowers. So mm -hmm. over at my center, Skin Potentials at Mid Valley, we actually do that. Mm -hmm. We only use uh, earth engineered products. But, well, with earth engineered products, uh, here's the flip side to that. A lot of people say that, you know, if you use stuff that's uh, from the earth, it takes a longer time for you to see proper results. But then again, it's safe. Mm. Well, it's all about cumulative, uh, you know, result. You know, mm -hmm. all the treatments will slowly build the skin's immunity and then will s slowly uh, make the skin heal so you get a better complexion. So right. that, that's how it helps. And r the first question that you ask, you mm -hmm. know, is it a, a vanity, you know, whether it's vain or, or not, mm -hmm. um, I believe that it's really about taking care the, of the largest organ that you mm -hmm. have. Right, skin. yeah, your skin is the yes. largest organ. And, yeah. you know, everyone wants to look, they, they want to look good. Mm -hmm. So I think that's it's essential. Mm -hmm. So uh, with, with uh, the uh, being an aesthetician and, mm -hmm. you know, uh, talking to people, teaching people about facials, and also coming up with great uh, facial spas, so on and so forth. You know, uh, do you even talk to people about makeup? You know, where like women, they do facials. They also need to be com they need to complement it with good makeup. Uh, choose proper skincare mm -hmm. to be used at home. Do you help them with that? Well, yes, we, mm -hmm. we do have our own range, and we'll advise the customers what's best for them. I, at the end of the day, uh, it's about the you know 
putting everything in place, you know, the makeup that you use, there's so many uh, sort right. of makeup nowadays right. to, for ladies, if they don't want to clog their pores, mineral makeup is mm -hmm. the, one of the mm -hmm. best. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, and moving into men, you know, um, uh, there's been a lot of awareness campaigns for men and a lot of magazines have been talking about men going for facial, so on and so forth. And also there's a stigma, you know, when a man walks into a facial center, you know, he's stigmatized, that there's the stigma that, you know, it's a very fine line between him being a man and this whole LGBT thing which is being thrown around like crazy. Yes. So, you know, for men who want to go out there for facials, you know, what do they need to uh, do or what do they need to prepare for when, when they sit there, they don't know what's happening to them. You know, I walk into a facial center, I know I've been there before, but for uh, those of us who haven't been there and who want to start taking care of our uh, the, the largest organ in our body. Yeah. Yeah. I think at, at the end of the day, what my center is all about is we take a very holistic approach mm -hmm. uh, when it comes to the skin. So it's not a gender-based sort of right. uh, prescription because mm -hmm. whether you're a guy or girl, you mm -hmm. know, you have uh, that you have skin. Right. So we treat that through a holistic manner, and then for guys, I think nowadays it's no longer a taboo right or you know they don't feel anymore because people are more well read mm -hmm. they, they understand that like for me i've suffered from severe cystic acne since i was young right and you know you, you go to all the doctors they say it's not curable it's mm -hmm. not something that you can cure mm -hmm. it's something manageable right so, so for, for, for those of us who don't know what severe cystic acne is can you just cystic very acne quickly is, run us through that let's just say that pimples times that 10 you know you get a cyst with it so it, it's bad. yeah that mm -hmm. sounds really bad mm -hmm. so it drove me in, in finding out what other options that uh, people can go for you right. know, in case they have any other skin issues. For us, we opt for naturally active ingredients. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, of course, we, we embrace technology. We use technology as well. Right. And one of the favorite treatments that guys, they, they opt for is the mm -hmm. microdermabrasion that we offer. Microdermabrasion? And, yes. and, and what, what does that entail? It is actually a mechanical exfoliation. So, mm -hmm. you know, the guy, the skin for, for, for guys is slightly thicker. It's like 15 to 20% thicker than the ladies. So right. with that exfoliation, you get clearer skin. Mm -hmm. It clears all the dirt and, you know, can Google it because it's right. one of the sought after treatments for celebrities. Mm -hmm. It's a one of, one of the most sought after treatments yes. for celebrities. Well, you know, when, when you go for a facial, of course, what you want to look for is affordability. And having said that, you know, uh, there's this other thing where most of us who are dark want to be fair, most of us who are fair want to be bronze, you know, the, the, and, and the list continues. Yes. Having said that, uh, another thing that's been talked about and used a lot within Malaysia is a bleach and a lot of people like to bleach their face they do do different types of bleaching you know and what's the safest way to do it especially people with pigmentation problems you know they've got patches pigment patches on their face well there are a lot of active ingredients out there that doesn't require bleaching mm -hmm. you know like um helichrysum will also help uh, mm -hmm. in in ensuring that you get an even skin tone but I, I you know i've met a lot of clients that it's no longer wanting to be something different. And mm -hmm. over at our center, we actually advise them that you know you don't have to go lighter, lighter shade. What right. you would want to do is look fresh, mm -hmm. have mm -hmm. an even skin tone, right. and that's that's where mm -hmm. you know makes a lot of difference. Right. You know, going to a center for facial. Okay, all of us have got our whole skincare regime or skincare uh, those one or two things that we use on a daily basis. But going to a center for facial, how often should one do it? I think it, it depends on whether the person has skin concerns, but mm -hmm. as maintenance, you should go at least once a month. And believe it or not, you have actually meridian points all over your face. Right. It's like when you're going for foot reflexology, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. it's clinically proven that it actually helps with the well-being of a person. Right. So when you uh, when you go to the right uh, center, mm -hmm. if they do uh, acupressure points right. on the face, actually it helps. Uh, mm -hmm. in maintaining that balance, you know, mm -hmm. finding mm -hmm. that equilibrium, right. the total equilibrium. And I, I mean, uh, I told a couple of friends of mine that, you know, we'll be speaking to someone who is a specialist, an aesthetician, especially in facial, the one question they asked and um, they said, uh, can you ask him this, uh, what about women with oily skin? No, it's, a, it's, a, it's a real horrible thing putting makeup on with, a, with oily skin. What can you do? What's the, the fastest, best way to, you know, uh, reduce oil? Well, this is my advice. You don't change the condition. What you do is regulate sebaceous, your sebaceous um, gland mm -hmm. so that it's more calm, so it's not overactive. So the first phase is about um, really hydrating, mm -hmm. you know, hydrating the skin to ensure that 
the moisture level and also the the oil level is is at balance and right. peace. so it, it doesn't get overacted right so if one wants to get in touch with you or find out more about what you do is there a website uh, we yes. can visit it's skin-potential.com mm. skin-potential.com uh, go uh, look up the website and you'll get all the information you need uh, about Kelvin Tan and the work he does and what an aesthetician does as opposed to an aesthetic physician and I'll always read about this before you go for facial uh, before you go for a uh, professional facial care because there are a lot of people out there who come up with uh, stuff that's not good for you so you need professionals yes. and here's one well thank Kelvin you. was a pleasure speaking to thank you thank you very much take care very much uh, take care very much sorry <laughs> take care you need a facial yeah, I need a facial <laughs> very much yeah <laughs> so with that stay with us we'll be bringing you uh, more right here on Bernama we've got updates coming up throughout the day we'll be back tomorrow with more for you on Bernama today Jared Rudnam signing off